everybody, welcome to the Healing Place Church Daily Devotional Podcast, and we are so excited to be kicking off a brand new devotional series looking at the letters of 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians. Before we dive into this, I wanna just challenge you, stick with us, stay with us for this series. These two letters are so important for us today as believers as we're navigating through so many different issues. Now let me give you a little background, a little context on what these letters are about. So this church is found in the city of Corinth, the ancient city of Corinth. Now what was so interesting about this church is its strategic location. If you look on a map, you can see that it's really nestled between Northern Greece in southern Greece. And so it was a port city, and this city had all kinds of travel. It had all kinds of people coming from all kinds of different locations. So it made sense that the Apostle Paul would come in and plant a church here. So just like in our world today, all different types of people bring all different types of issues. And so they had people from all over the globe in this church, and it was super influential. And Paul planted this church on one of his missionary journeys, and he actually spent 18 months just preaching the gospel, installing leadership, teaching these Gentiles about the kingdom of God through Jesus. And so he plants this church and then he leaves and he gets correspondence letters back and forth. And he hears about all of these issues that they're having. So what's going to happen is, is as we're going through these letters, we're going to see just a bunch of issues. We're going to see a bunch of different types of issues. So it really is a great letter. Both of these letters are great uh, for the modern church because it just addresses a variety of problems. Let's look at chapter 1, verse 10, and we're going to discover our first issue in the Corinthian church. He says this. This is Paul speaking to, to this church that he planted. He said, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other. He said, let there be no divisions in the church, rather be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. Check that out, he says, united in thought and purpose. So the first issue that we see here in the Corinthian church is unity. So he had gotten word that there was some divisions. Now, the divisions probably he's talking about here based on the context of chapter 1 are probably divisions in doctrine and leadership. And so they had different people. See, in Paul's absence, there were some opportunists, people that would come in and say, oh, well, here's a new doctrine or here's a new thought. And it was creating all this division. And some people were attaching themselves to this leader or some people were attaching themselves to that leader. And Paul is coming in and I love what he does here. He says, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul is an apostle. Paul planted this church and he has a unique God-given authority to speak to their situation, which is so important because God gives us spiritual authority in our lives. People that God appoints to lead us and shepherd us and pastor us. And here Paul is exercising that authority. He comes in and he says, look, live in harmony with each other. He said, let there be no divisions in the church. He said, rather be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. That phrase translated united as uh, in thought and purpose, this is actually a cool phrase because it w- it's actually a medical term. And it's really describing the process of when a bone or a, or a, or a finger or something has become disjointed and the process of getting it back in its place. Something has caused it to become disjointed. I don't know, maybe you're like me. If you ever seen somebody with like a disjointed finger or, you know, you're watching a sporting game and something you could just tell is out of place, it like makes you nauseated. Look, that's how it is with the body of Christ. Sometimes uh, the enemy will send in dividers and they will come in and they will disjoint what God has put together. And Paul is saying, look, when it's out of joint, it's ugly, it's not pretty, and it's not functional. He says, God wants us to be in unity. Let there be no divisions. So I have one quick application question for you. It's very simple. Just ask yourself this question. Am I doing everything that I can to live in harmony 
with my brothers and sisters in Christ. That's it. Am I doing everything that I can? You see, we can't control what other people do. Every church has divisive people. Every church congregation, every body, has, every body of Christ has the people in it that are just going to try to divide. They'll try to divide on leadership. They'll try to divide on politics. They'll try to divide on just about anything that they can. But our responsibilities as Christians is to do everything we can to live in harmony with each other. So just ask yourself that question. Am I doing everything I can to live in harmony with my fellow believers. So this was issue number one of plenty of issues that we're gonna see in this book. So I challenge you, take the journey with us, stick with us. This is gonna be an exciting uh, series looking at these two letters. We know it's gonna bless you. We'll see you back tomorrow. 